But I don't know if this is for B flat or this is for C. Is this already for the It's both. Perfect, thank you. So you probably were right, Elijah. Hey Ryan, is this one working? Okay, yeah, it is. Perfect. Never mind, we're good. I answered my own question. Uh. I think the big boom. Hey, <laughs> is this working? Oh. I probably should like just literally. Turn around and kind of cut out after. Is this working? So can we change in everyone is a child? Can we do see everyone as a child of God? Because I feel like because everyone is a child of God, then baptism doesn't mean anything. Um, let's see where we want to change. Ah, so just instead of everyone is a child of God, see everyone as a child of God. Everyone as a child of God. Because I think because everyone is a child, that means what is the point of baptism? Everyone is already a child. Yeah, yeah, Everyone talk more about it. Um, if, if, if you want to see things that works, cool. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go welcome the congregation because it's a kiss. Uh, we're not <laughs> well, now we're only going to be singing different. Cool. I should say, well, it's already in the screen, so I have to make it. I would say, normally for the day. Well, good morning. Good morning, and. Uh, Welcome. My name. I'm, I'm welcoming you, but thank you for welcoming us. I'm a, a Hans Peterson pastor at River of Hope in Hutchinson, and I also have the distinct privilege of being the uh, well, being with these young people. We have some uh, some outstanding musicians from a few different churches. I am going to just take a as we begin our worship service this morning. I want to just have you get a chance to hear. Who is with you and who is leading? I know there are some from from the, the church here, but let's can we just take a minute and what do you, what do we want to share, Elijah? Name, grade is that okay. Sounds good. And what else? Church. Ice cream. We said we, we, we said ice cream at the last service. So your favorite least favorite food. Least favorite food. There we go. We'd like to introduce who we are. Go ahead. Can you start on the end there, young man? I'm Charlie Bortnum. You guys all know me. Um, I'm from here, tenth grader, and my least favorite food is mushrooms. Mm. My name is Elijah, and you also all know me. What you might not know is one of my least my least favorite food is fish. I think fish is just kind of nasty. I didn't say that. <laughs> For people online, it's nice to have uh, the microphone. My name is Annalise. I also go here, and Elijah totally stole mine because I was going to say seafood. My name is Molly. I also go here. I'm in eighth grade. And both of these people stole mine. I do not like seafood at all. And Molly, can you hold Sorry. just, what grade are you in? Oh, eighth grade. And is that Mike, is that Mike is this working? One on? Are you oh. getting something through there? Well, we'll check it in a second, but go back and see what number it is. And we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Dan? Um, I'm Danny. I'm in ninth grade from River of Hope. Honestly, I like fish. So I can't disagree with that. I though I don't like the texture of shrimp, but um, my least favorite is probably um, wasabi peas. 
I, like a while ago, my family just had a bag on the counter. I was like, oh, treats. No, they're not treats. <laughs> Don't steal them. I'm Andy. Let's um, go ahead. Yeah. I'm Andy. I'm from River of Hope and Hutchinson, and I'm in the 10th grade. Uh, now, this might be controversial, but I really hate spoiled milk. You know, I've never found it very appetizing. Um, but I've had it several times because I'm an idiot, and when my mom goes, hey, I think this milk is spoiled, taste it, I say, oh, okay, and I do. <laughs> I'm Ethan, I'm in 11th grade, I'm from First Lutheran in Litchfield, and I don't really have a fa uh, least favorite food, so. All right, thanks, Ethan. Uh, I'm going to say I'm from River of Hope, which I already did. I'm going to, Molly, I'm going to have you, you try to guess what my least favorite food is. Take a guess. I'm going to see if your mic's working. Do you also dislike seafood? I like seafood. I don't, nothing? I don't know. Yes, I would say, <laughs> goodness gracious, you caught me off guard. I was thinking, ah, uh, I'll have to think about that. By the end of okay. the service, I might have, right. I like most things. Okay. And someone reminded me that, uh, I've tasted garlic ice cream at the garlic festival in Hutchinson, and I love that too. Um, I do love garlic. So anyway, a delight to be here. This young, this this group of musicians uh, has led music at the senior high youth event uh, recently. They're going to get a chance to lead music down in New Orleans uh, at the national youth gathering, where uh, when we worship with the Minnesotan Lutherans, and so there may be. 2,000 or more young people that they get a chance to lead. Thank you for allowing us to be here. We kind of came in just under the wire because we are also in Kokato. So just at the last minute, we're kind of getting sound checked. So bear with us if they, we need to make some adjustments as we go. Please let us know. What did I say we were? Kokato. Yeah. We are in Kokato. Thank you. It was Litchfield that we ran from this morning. Thank you. Uh, well, once again, thank you for joining us on this season of uh, Christ's Resurrection, Easter. It will be Easter here now for, for uh, seven weeks. A special uh, welcome to anyone who might be visiting uh, now uh, in this place or online or watching later on. Uh, let's see. The ushers are going to pass out friendship registers, if, and if you're online, uh, please share, like, and subscribe. For the month of April, we have the confirmation or the Confirmands Cross is out in the narthex. This year, uh, Confirmands were asked to make a cross out of any materials they wanted to represent their faith. It's, I haven't seen them, but uh, according to Pastor Tim, who wrote this, he said that they're very uh, extremely creative and each one has a description of what it means. Uh, so stop, look at those, and pray for each youth uh, while you're doing that. For the younger kids, uh, we're trying an experiment of putting out Spark Bibles by the Busy Bag. So if you're a parent who uses the Busy Bags, you can also grab Spark's Bible for your kids to look at during the service. April 21st, that's next Sunday, we're going to meet to have the second use of space discussion. We have cleaned a lot and are trying to figure out how to best use our space and keep it clean for the long term. If you have stuff stored at our church or are interested in that, please join after the service in the library on April 21st. Jenna is selling Brie Strong bracelets to support the Torvik family. Please see her. Where is, are you here, Jenna? There, yeah, please see Jenna uh, for more details. At this time, I invite you to rise in body or in spirit for our gathering song, Build Up. Yes, the chair, the chair and choir was going to sing. Would I mean we can have you go first if you prefer? Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. All right. I invite you to rise as we together sing our gathering song. God is 
is here today. Break the chains of injustice. Let the oppressed go free. So you lift your voices, build up, prepare the way. Build up, prepare the way. Remove the obstructions from my people's way. Build up, prepare the way. God is near. God is here today. Indeed, God is here in this place. I invite you to be seated as our worship service continues with special music from our cherub choir.
on a, on a great note. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for keeping me in line too. If there's ever, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Throughout the service, if there are other times where you see I need to, you know, I'm not used to the flow here. Uh, so if I miss something, you uh, raise up the red flag. <laughs> uh, Pastor Tim is, uh, and River of Hope this morning, we did a little pulpit swap uh, so he could be there at the church where I serve, and I could be here, so it's great to be here. Well, welcome. Once again, welcome this morning. Uh, wherever you are on your journey of faith, whatever has brought you to this place today, we trust uh, and hope that you sense the arms of a loving God who welcomes you here in this place, and you are welcome. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your love shines on, illuminating the places where you are present. As the baffled disciples ponder the stories of your appearance, you penetrated their fear and doubt with a word of peace. You showed them the appalling marks of evil pierced into your hands and feet. You opened their minds to understand how God defeated the powers of evil and death. Increase our understanding, we pray, and open our minds and our hearts to receive you, Lord. Speak your word of peace to us and let your love shine in our lives. May this worship which we offer in your name be a worthy response to your love and your sacrifice for us. Amen. I invite you to take a moment to share a word of peace, a greeting, uh, perhaps introduce yourself to someone across the aisle that you might not know. Peace be with you always. What? The whole service is going to be interesting. Peace be with you. Peace. We move back to build it then. Oh, we'll break forth like the dawn. After healing a man unable to walk, Peter, Peter preaches to the people describing how God's promises to Israel have been fulfilled in Jesus. Through the proclamation of Christ's death and resurrection, God is offering them forgiveness and restoration in Jesus' name. This is a reading from Acts chapter 3, verse 12 through 19, and it could be found on page 883 in the Pew Bible. Peter addresses the people. You Israelites, why do you wonder at this or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we had made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the holy and righteous one and asked to have a murder given to you. And you killed the author of life whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, his name itself has made this man strong 
whom you see and know, in the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. You are invited to stand in body or in spirit as our story and God's story continues today with a reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 36 through 48. Now, while they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. And they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. And he said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do you, you have doubts that arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms would be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witness of these things. Look up these verses in your Bible and read it. Stay tuned for the continuing saga that is our story and God's story. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. And at this time, I invite any uh, young people to come on. It's, today is the, uh, we're going to do a children's sermon for the sermon. And, and uh, we invite you to come on up, meet me. Actually, do you want to speak from here or from there? What would you prefer? Come on up. We'll have you sit up on here. I'm going to introduce you... Our, for the sermon today, we're going to have a musical message. It's two songs, and Andy is going to teach you the first one and tell you and, and kind of introduce it with some questions. And then uh, Elijah is going to teach you. Well, he's going to talk a little bit, and then Molly will teach you the last song. Farther than I thought it would be. Hi, everyone. I'm Andy. I'm of the leaders of the Youth Synod Band, and I'm doing the children's sermon today. Um, so, Jesus, he shows up, right? And everyone's afraid of him, because he's a ghost. Are you guys afraid of ghosts? <laughs> well, when I was like six, I was terrified of ghosts. So, you guys are like, you're hardcore, man, wow. <laughs> Well, they're afraid, right? Because ghosts are scary. And there are a lot of different things to be afraid of. I'm afraid of heights. Uh, I do not like being near windows in tall buildings. What are you guys afraid of? Nothing. Wow. You? Sharks. You? You had your hand up? Snakes? What about you? Alligators. Alligators can be scary, yeah? Do you have one? Monkey. Monkeys can be scary, yeah. Does Molly? I know Molly has one. I saw it. Tell me what you're afraid of. I'm also terrified of heights. She's also terrified. Oh, talk Get your own fear. 
<laughs> Taco Tuesday. I did this sermon at my church last week, and apparently my hearing aids weren't on because someone told me that they were afraid of cockroaches, and I said with full confidence to the congregation, Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> Yeah, it's only on Tuesday. Don't be afraid of the tacos, okay? So, when I'm afraid, I like to remember that God is... Exactly. God is always with me. That was very eloquently put. So, we have a little song for you. It's called Forever Emmanuel. And I'm going to teach you some hand motions with one hand uh, because I have to hold my microphone. But if you guys want to follow along... So we're going to go, hallelujah, but with both hands, because I'm one. Yeah, you show them. Hallelujah. And now you guys. Hallelujah. Yeah, everyone can do it. This does not require much physical activity. You don't have to be super strong like Molly. You'll be okay. Okay. And now we're going to do it again. Hallelujah. Now you guys. Hallelujah. And now we're going to go. Forever, Emmanuel. Forever, Emmanuel. And now we just repeat. So, Hallelujah, you guys. Hallelujah. And now, Hallelujah, you guys. Hallelujah. And now, Forever, Emmanuel. Again. Good job. So now we're going to actually play this song. Uh, if you guys want to stand up and do the motions or just sit down, that's fine. Um, yes, watch these guys because I will be playing tuba, and that isn't really a hands-free thing. So, one second. Thank you. 
All right. You can give yourselves another hand, young people. We're going to have uh, Elijah take it from here. So, is this on? Cool. So in this, I really like Andy's message because it talks about fears. And I think oftentimes we kind of live with our fears and they affect what you do. So I tried to think, and I tried to think, what am I most afraid of? And there are a couple things, like I love the thought of cockroaches. I think they're the worst thing ever, but they don't really affect me very much because if I see a cockroach, I leave the building and the next thing I know, I don't have to worry about it. Pretend I never saw it and it doesn't affect me. One of the things that I can't avoid, though, is the future. And I think all of us are scared of the future just a little bit because you don't know what happens and you aren't sure if you're going to be able to control it. I think that, at least for me, I wish life was like a highway. You'd be able to go straight and whenever you'd see someone doing something weird, you'd just turn on a blinker, you'd turn, and you'd avoid whatever trouble it is. And you can see all the things on the side, but you don't really have to worry about it. The problem is, of course, life is nothing like that. Life is much more like this huge sea of things, and occasionally there'll be currents, and you're going to one spe specific destination, and you know exactly what you're doing, and something happens, and now you're in a different place. And there are the, all these things that you can't control. And that's one of the reasons why I like this next song, um, My Lighthouse, is this next song? Cool, just want to make sure, because it has a healer on the screen. But uh, My Lighthouse, because it shows, um, it talks about God, and it shows God not as someone who's going to let you know exactly what you're going to do, and these are the things that's going to happen, but it's a fixed point in the horizon that you can always go for. So even when there are things that are going to come up, and you're not going to be able to fix them or try to prevent them, you can, instead of getting lost, you still know exactly where God is. And I think you can uh, see this in the passage, because in the story that we were reading, it talks about how the disciples don't know what's going on, right? They've given up their old past life, and they've gone to follow Jesus, and all of a sudden, Jesus dies. And they've been following him, he's been doing all these miracles, and they know that he is the Son of God, and he dies. And they have absolutely no clue what's going on here. And yet, even in this moment, even when they aren't sure what's going on and they don't know where they're supposed to go, God comes to them, and instead of giving them the destination of follow and learn, now it's your time to go out and spread the news to others. And so I think this is just one way where, even as we go through our life, and we see how there are going to be tough events, and we can't stop them all, but if we fix our eyes on Jesus, our lighthouse, and we follow him, we can be safe, and we can go where we're going, even through the hard times. Thank you. Alrighty, let's see, if, let's see if I can pull this. Okay, good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. You know me, I'm Molly. I go here. Hi, hello. So this song is one of my favorites, and it has some fun actions with it. So My Lighthouse, as Elijah mentioned, um, it, has, it has some action, so I'm going to invite you guys to stand up if you want to in the audience, too. Sure, let's have the car. Yeah, let's have everybody stand up. Stand up. up. You need a stretch. This one's a fun one. Got to get that energy flowing. Alrighty, so bear with me here. There's a lot. Do any of you guys know this song just by hearing the title? There. This will be easier then. Good. Alrighty, so we're, I'm just going to teach you the chorus today. Okay, ready? It starts off with, my lighthouse. Okay, and then we're gonna clap. I have one hand, so I'm not gonna clap, but. Okay, ready? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> my lighthouse. Okay, let's do this again, ready? My lighthouse. Then that repeats, my lighthouse. They got it down already, guys, come on. Okay, ready? Shining in the darkness. We'll do that again, ready? Shining in the darkness. And we're gonna be some um, marchers, ready? I will follow you. And then I want you to make the biggest O, ready? O, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. Okay, this is where it changes. I will trust the promise, I will trust the promise. 
You will carry me. Okay, ready? This is the fun part, ready? Safe to shore. Safe to shore. Safe to shore. Safe to shore. Do you get that? Yeah? Seem easy enough, audience? Yeah, you have some great leaders up here to show you how it's done. Alrighty. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. Silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea wall. You are the peace in my troubled sea. All right, let's go. young people a hand. Thank you for coming up. And you can go back to your seats now and be seated.
Well, young people, thanks for helping uh, proclaim the, the gospel and song today. And thank you to Andy and Elijah as well. At this time, I invite you to join me in, in praying together. Our response, uh, I guess you do have that. I wasn't sure if you had it. We'll, we'll respond with simply God who is mercy, and you can say, hear our prayer. Let us pray. O God, our Holy One, you feed our deepest hungers as we share the holy meal that is the body and blood of Jesus given for us. Lead us to share all that we have and find in generosity, abundant life. God, who is mercy, hear our prayer. O God, our Creator, you bring forth all life on earth. Calm storms bring water to parched places and protect the, protect the climate that this planet would sustain life in all its variety. God, who is mercy. O oh God, our Savior, you offer wisdom and guidance beyond all human knowledge. Instruct lawmakers, judges, and elected officials to make decisions grounded in your justice and care for all people. God, who is mercy. O oh God, our elder, you care for all of your children. Encourage those who are in times of transition, those who are facing the loss of old ways and routines and anticipating change. Guide those who journey in grief, hope, and uncertainty. Especially we pray today for Kara, Brad, Brady, Ginny, Bree, Eddie, Marilyn, Toby, Gary, and John. God, who is mercy. O oh God, our resting place, your son Jesus promised that we are held in your love forever. We remember our beloved who have died. As we remember and share their love, comfort those who mourn. God, who is mercy. Into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your abiding love through Jesus Christ, our resurrected and living Lord. Amen. We worship this God now with our offering. Thank you for your continued generosity for all the ways that you support God's ministry here at Evangelical Lutheran Church in Cocado. And uh, thank you for, sending, uh, for supporting our youth and so they can have a youth band as well. Uh, we invite you to sing along this song while the, as the offering is being taken. teach y'all a song <coughs> called Welcome Table.
is your family. All are hungry. God set the table. Time to take your place. Gather round the welcome table. Grab his hand. There's enough. Grab a hand. Life unstable. Grab a I do have to point out that I saw a typo in the slides. It said, here's a banquet. It's supposed to be leave your weapons, not here's your weapon. <laughs> uh, this is a, a feast that we gather around where we are fed. It's a table of, of peace, as was reflected in the, in the gospel reading for today. I'm gonna invite you, you see those words on the screen here. Sometimes at River of Hope we'll gather uh, with young people around the table and we'll sing a table prayer. But I, um, some of you may be familiar with the prayer, come Lord Jesus be our guest. We can sing that to a tune as well. So I'm just gonna invite you all to join in singing that as we prepare for this feast. To this, the, to a, the, a tune that you may recognize. Oh, come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. All praise to God, who is our bread. May all the world be clothed and fed. We gather as a community around this table of plenty, this table of peace, trusting in the spirit to nourish us as we share in God's love with our neighbors. The Lord is with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This is Christ's table. It's a table of love and welcome. It's a table in communion with the poor and fellowship with the earth. So come, those of you with great faith and those of you who wish you had more. Come, those of you who have tried to follow Jesus and those of you who have failed. Come, those of you who depend on this meal for your life and those of you for whom it is a strange thing. These are the gifts of God. And the gifts of God are free, free indeed. And all are invited and welcome to receive the sacrament. Uh, just a couple words of instruction um, this is my first time having communion here at uh, ELC. Actually, it was one other time I think there was a pastor's meeting. So you're going to know how it works better than I do. But I, I, I believe the ushers are going to direct you forward to come here. And I think we have four communion servers. Um, do the communion servers usually commune first? Okay. Uh, come on down. Uh, I'll, we'll commune you, and then you, while we're, while we're leading some music... 
will have you uh, commune the rest of the congregation. And I'll just point out too here <clears throat> that we do have gluten-free uh, option, I notice up here front as well. Just let the person serving the wafers know that as well. It's the body of Christ given for you. It's the body of Christ given for you. It's the body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail. And there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep, my faith will stand. My soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. Your grace abounds in deepest water. Your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where fear and fail and fear surrounds me, you never failed, and you won't start now. My soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. Oh, you are mine. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander 
and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. My soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. Child of God, 
everyone. See everyone. Everyone is a child, a beautiful child. See everyone. Everyone. Everyone is a child of God. See everyone. Everyone is a child. A beautiful child of God. And now, may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen each and every one of you. Shepherding God, you have prepared a table before us and nourished us with your love. Send us forth from this banquet to proclaim your goodness and share the abundant mercy of Jesus, our Redeemer and friend. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you to rise in body or in spirit for our closing song. Uh, we'll have Andy teach you the refrain so you can sing along with it. Sure. All right. This is probably uh, my favorite song we've ever played, so I'm really excited to teach this one to you. So this verse has two versions, in English and in Spanish. So the first version in English is go now, go now. Now you guys. Go now, go now. And now we're going to go. Go now with God. Go now with God. And then it just repeats, but a tiny bit different at the end. So go now, go now. Go now with God. So you guys, go now, go now, go now with God. Now, Spanish version, really easy. All the notes are the same. We're just switching the words. Uh, so now we're going to go, vamos, vamos. You guys? Vamos, vamos. And then, vamos con Dios. Vamos con Dios. And we end the same way we ended the first time. Vamos, vamos. Vamos con Dios. Vamos, vamos. Vamos con Dios. So there you go. You learned a little bit of Spanish. And I think we're ready to start. All right. And we'll do first one in Spanish. So you can follow along as best you can. Join in if you're able. Lleno del Espíritu Santo. Vamos con Dios. Vamos Entrando a mundo para servir Vamos con Dios, vamos con Dios Vamos, vamos Vamos con Dios Vamos, vamos Vamos con Dios Offering a hand a stranger Go now with God Go now with God Trusting in the risen Savior Go Go now.
the lovers who have found us. Go now with God, go now with God. Trusting on a journey surrounds us. Go now with God, go now with God. Vamos, vamos, vamos con Dios. of liberation Go now with God Go now Go now Go now Go now with God Go now Go now Go now with God Vamos Vamos their day job and these kids are busy and they have huge lives in their schools and activities and they make time for this and I think that's a pretty marvelous statement about all of these young people so we're gonna practice our dismissal again and we're gonna work on uh, this this statement that we all agreed upon is the statement that we stand for and we're, we're really working on saying it with amazing purpose and commitment so here we go we celebrate grace, grace. appreciate all God's people through sharing Christ's story. Amen. Go now, go now, go now with God. Go now, go now, go now with God.